Time to play with some play. Okay, something's bothered me since I did these legs, and I know what it is. It's uh, this side muscle here is not thick enough. It's too thin, and so I've got to uh, thicken it or else the legs will look weak. It's hard to play a happy medium between over-muscular and not muscular enough. So his legs would be well well developed because of, uh, well, they didn't have cars. They had horses, of course, but then they had to have muscles in their legs to hold themselves on the horses and to control the horses. So uh, their legs would be well developed, but not overly developed. Oh yeah, it looks better already. I just got too conservative in how I was doing her his legs. Now the legs will be covered in in a, a leggings, but I still have to have the form under the legs. Sculpting is a constant uh, re-evaluation of uh, what you're doing. you got to be your own worst critic. Something bothers you, you'll figure it out eventually. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start doing the leggings. Put the top of the legging on with a flat piece of uh, clay that I've uh, put through this pasta machine. And this is the way they would have constructed their leggings.
before I can put the loincloth on, I have to have the, the upper part of the leggings at least sculpted. I think I'm going to do fringe. It could do a flap coming down side, but I'll decide that later. There's no big rush to figure that part out. Right now, I just want to get the uh, leggings sculpted. I took a spoon and put some of that latex on it. It gives me a nice wide tool to smooth stuff with. And since the clay doesn't stick to this silicone, it really makes a nice tool. Okay, I got to plot out the uh, wrinkles, and since uh, the strain of the uh, material would be the weight of the material hanging off the belt there, it would uh, come down like that, and like that. You don't want to overdo that either. Less is always better. Another thing too is uh, leather reacts differently than cloth. Cloth would have a sharper fold than I'm leather covering. Leather would get stretched out at the knee too, so because of uh, if you get in the wet or uh, through use, uh, it just uh, get stretched out of shape a little. I was just experimenting with uh, the monster clay, running it through the pasta machine, flattening it out, and then putting it through the spaghetti uh, 
attachment to get fringe. And I'll see what that's like tomorrow. It worked out pretty good. It came out better than clay does. Um, it may be too much detail for the foundry to take care of. But then again, let me just figure that out. I'll figure it out if I do this. But I kind of like it the way it turned out. And you can see I've uh, attached a... Uh, loincloth on the back just trying to find the right wire tool there we go it has to be filled in underneath and behind so I had to put on some a lot of clay but uh, it worked out good I'm trying to show like I said uh, the wind coming from this direction which would uh, not allow me to have it hanging straight down. So it means it would be re responding to the, uh, the wind. It looks good from the side. Now I just got to do that on the front. And we'll see how that turns out. And what I'm trying to do is make this so that uh, they don't have to cut the loincloth off to uh, cast the uh, figure. And if I can achieve that, that'll really be a real victory as far as cost of reproducing. Because everything they have to do costs money. At least amount of what they have to do costs less. What I'm doing is filling in behind the loincloth and uh, all the way up to the front of the leg. I can't have a huge cavity uh, under the loincloth. It has to be filled in. The key is not to make it look like it's been filled in. <laughs> I've got uh, both loincloths on. I like the way they're formed and I'll have to refine the edge of uh, the uh, trade cloth uh, loin cloths but I'm liking it and uh, you know when I get the leggings done and get the fringe figured out and all that other stuff I think it's going to come together pretty good it's going to take some cleaning and some more detailing and but I'm not afraid of that <laughs> <laughs> All right, till next time, good night, and uh, have a great evening. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.